look at acts chapter 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem and in all judea and in samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth you shall receive power underline the word power he didn't say you shall receive the holy ghost because these people were already born again in acts 1 8 they were already born again so he didn't say you shall receive the holy ghost because to be born again is to receive the holy ghost you are born of the spirit so he didn't say to them you shall receive the holy ghost rather he said to them you shall receive power you shall be witnesses utterance you shall receive power and that power will manifest in utterance and they were all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak utterance with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance they began to speak with other tongues so power in acts chapter 1 verse 8 is utterance you shall receive power the power there is utterance because when the holy ghost came they began to speak as the spirit gave them utterance that's why the scripture peter used joel chapter 2 verse 28 it shall come to pass afterward that i will pour my spirit upon all flesh your sons and daughters shall prophesy utterance they shall prophesy now that was peter's instruction on the day of pentecost they shall prophesy but look at ezekiel 36 verse 26 a new heart also will i give you and a new spirit will i put within you and i will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and i will give you a heart of flesh i will give you a heart of flesh this is different from the promise in joel 2 28 this one is i will give you a new spirit i will give you a new heart i will take away the stony heart i will give you a heart of flesh that is regeneration that is being born again that is being born of the spirit in joel 2 28 you shall prophesy your sons and daughters shall prophesy which is utterance so in ezekiel 36 and joel chapter 2 are two different prophecies or two different experiences in the life of the believer utterance is not salvation salvation is not utterance many people prophesied before they got born again and i can show you many of them prophesied without being born again i can give you some instances luke chapter 1 verse 67 zachariah john the baptist's father and his father zacharias was filled with the holy ghost what does it mean to be filled with the holy ghost and prophesied saying he prophesied so zachariah had the gift of utterance another person luke 141 and it came to pass that when Elizabeth had the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Next verse. And she spake out with a loud voice. She was filled with the Holy Ghost, and she spake out with a loud voice, and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Another person, Luke 2, 34 and simeon blessed them and said unto mary his mother behold this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against simeon spoke and said unto mary luke 2 36 anna also prophesied and there was one anna a prophetess the daughter of phanuel of the tribe of asher she was of a great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity next verse and she was a widow of about four score and four years which departed not from the temple but served god with fastings and prayers night and day she was a prophetess and she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the lord and spake of him to all them that look for redemption she spake a prophetess she spake utterance so people had utterances they spoke but the utterances did not have revelation unto whom it was revealed 
that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you reported by them that have preached utterance that have preached the gospel unto you which the holy ghost sent down from heaven which things the angels desire to look into so he is saying that the holy ghost came and they had utterance they didn't have the holy ghost but they had utterance just like the folks in numbers 11 the spirit of moses was on them and they prophesied even though they didn't have the holy ghost look at judas for example judas healed the sick judas cast out devils judas cleansed the lepers but judas did not have the holy ghost see that judas he didn't have the holy ghost <laughs> when jesus sent them out two by two he said heal the sick cast out devils raise the dead cleanse the lepers freely you have received freely give judas was among them judas was with them he was busy casting out demons and healing the sick but yet they did not have the holy ghost just like the old testament prophets they prophesied but they didn't have the holy ghost hence they didn't see they didn't hear they didn't perceive all right so that's very critical look at matthew 7 22. many will say to me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works this is where many christians get messed up you think because a man of god is prophesying he has the spirit of god and you think because a so-called man of god is healing the sick and casting out devils and you think he has the spirit of god now you've seen that it's obvious that a man can prophesy a man can cast out devils a man can heal the sick but he is not of god he's not of god signs wonders miracles are not a proof of god's presence mm -mm. don't be carried away don't be carried that's why jesus will say an evil generation seek for sign an evil generation evil and he says none shall be given to them except the sign of jonas what is the sign of jonas death burial resurrection which is the message what is it called the message what we have in christianity that is exclusive to us is the message is the message that is why the church centers around the message the church is not built on miracle signs and wonders the church is built on the diet which is christ the message many will say to me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name somebody say but the man is prophesying and even calling jesus look at it now have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name have done many wonderful works next verse and then will i profess unto them i never knew you never knew that is i and you never met we never met this is jesus talking i and you never met i never knew you depart from me ye that walk iniquity so prophecy healing casting out demons can be iniquity they can be works of iniquity see that's why i'm coming from the old testament because i'm tracing something prophesied in your name cast out devils done many wonderful works i never knew if your bible was mine i will circle new that is we never had a relationship 
That means there will be folks like this. Like Judas. Who prophesied. Walked miracles. <laughs> they prophesied. They walked miracles. If you look at that Matthew chapter 7. Something that will bless you there. Matthew 7. Look at verse 24. Jesus now went further. Therefore. Whosoever heareth. After he said he doesn't know these people. After he said these miracle workers. These prophesiers or prophets so called. After he said I don't know them. He now said whosoever hear it not do it hear it teaching doctrine message hear it these sayings of mine and doeth them the word doeth there is believe and doeth them which is believe them i will liken him unto a wise man which built his house where upon a rock hearing the word and believing the word is a sure foundation not razzmatazz not drama hearing the word and believing it is the sure foundation the sure rock 25 and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock when believers are taught the word nothing can move them when believers are taught that is why the major assignment of the church is what teaching 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 the wind will come the rain will fall the storms will come you still be standing Things will break down and collapse you still be standing why you have heard the word you have believed the world you're full of the world and the word can never fall so you never fall praise god look at luke chapter 10 verse 17 and the 70 returned again with joy saying lord even the devils are subject unto us through thy name 18 and he said unto them i beheld satan as lightning in front from heaven 19 behold i give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you notwithstanding in this rejoice not there is no big deal about demons leaving people there's no big deal about demons leaving people and the whole church is standing oh, there's no big deal there this sign shall follow those that believe in my name they shall cast out demons are you a believer you cast out demons wherever you find them our service is too precious to gather around watching demons by the way we don't even have them here where did he give them the power to cast out the demons in luke chapter 9 verse 1 when he gave them the power judas was with them then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases and judas was part of that but when jesus was saying rejoice your names are written in heaven judas was not part of it judas was part of the casting out of demons and healing the sick and all that but judas didn't have his name written in heaven his name wasn't in heaven when he gave them power and authority over all devils was it the holy ghost he gave them huh in Luke chapter 9, was it the Holy Ghost? No, it wasn't the Holy Ghost. But did they go with power? Did they cast out demons? So a man can cast out demons without the Holy Ghost. You see that? A man can heal the sick without the Holy Ghost. And a man can prophesy without the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is regeneration. Holy Ghost is born again. So a man can cast out demons and he's not born again. And a man can prophesy but he's not born again that's how the old testament prophets operated isaiah ezekiel jeremiah obadiah amos joel zachariah zapaniah habakkuk malachi all of them that's how they operated they prophesied but they didn't have the holy ghost just like we're seeing here but were they giving power over devils were they giving power over devils but did they have the holy ghost no so go back to luke chapter 10 verse 19 
Behold, I give unto you power. The word I give unto you power is the word I don't mind the Greek. It means to yield something for your use. In salvation, he didn't give us. Uh, follow me, church. In salvation, he didn't give us. Here, he gave them power to use Didomai. In salvation, he is a gift to us. Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. That is salvation. Having power over devils is not the same thing with your name written in heaven. It's not the same thing. You can have power over devils. You can even cast out devils, but your name is not in heaven. Haven't we read Jesus saying that day I will say, I know you not. I never knew you at all. We had no contact. The key in the gospel is faith in Christ. Fundamental. Faith in Christ. 